Hi everybody, welcome to Chef Lethal Plays Path of Exile Slow Walkthrough Series, episode 51, back in King's March. As usual, I am going to unload my treasure, or I guess load up my treasury. 10,000 gold! Sweet! Good stuff. Uh, I also was just at my stash there, as you probably saw. We're always open. So I can I give him my helmet and assign somebody to disenchant oh, it's you. and just check time to disenchant all items three hours and 19 minutes so I guess do the two people work independently from each other or do they work I don't I don't actually know uh, recombinating. So yeah, working on disenchanting. I see ya. I can see if anyone here needs anything that I've got. Do I have any petrified amber? I have sixty-six of it. Oh, the smell of the sea salt on the wind. Let's do that, and we'll send that there. Off you go. <laughs> They're on their way. Pumpkin, we can do pumpkin. Why is why is that so risky? All right, I'm just gonna send 200 pumpkin. There you go. Off they go. Off they go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so what are we going to do today? You know what? I'm going to start out doing something a little different. We're going to go to the menagerie. I haven't talked at all about the bestiary. The bestiary? Bestiary. And this may go very poorly for us. But throughout the campaign and some of the maps, we've had Einar show up. And we've killed monsters. And I haven't really talked about what it means. So you can, you can listen to him if you want to. There's a few different things we can look at here. One, you can go into the menagerie. And each each monster that you collect is a different like meta type. Yeah, that's that's what I'll call it. So they can be like sands based. This one is from the depths, caverns, wilds. And you can go in and it's kind of like a zoo. Any anime any uh, ooh, wow. Any of the creatures that you've had Einar catch for you will be here. See, I've got a few of these guys. These are arachnoscorpids. 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 we got some of these guys, it looks like. Or not. Never mind. There's just blank parasites. So yeah, we can see all of the different creatures that we've collected and uh, if you look at like experienced players theirs just are completely just maxed to the max so the whole point of this whole thing is you go to the blood altar and you pick something that you want <clears throat> like let's say I want um, what do I want to do You can add some modifiers to a utility flask. I actually don't have really any great recipes unlocked, so it's hiding all of the unusable ones, but there's all sorts of ones, right? So I can get a stack of eight chromatic orbs, stack of eight. So the reason why these are hidden is it, it these particular ones require a certain base creature so like I don't have I haven't caught a sack of wine chimeral so I can't do this one but I have collected a Krychik sand spitter and a Krychik savage crab so let's let's hide everything again so let's create a unique item so we're gonna we need the the Krychik savage crab
This can also modify mods on an item. Interesting. Whoops, I'm just curious about something now. Modify. Have maximum, yeah, so you can get, you can use the menagerie to get maximum number of links on an item, maximum number of sockets. Those are excellent. Because of this recipe, uh, six linking an item is is trivial now. It's relative, it's the cheapest it's ever been, I think. Um, so we can add a suffix and remove a random prefix. We can add a prefix, remove a random suffix. So lots of cool stuff there, but no, I wanna create a unique item, so I'm just gonna click here. And so it's definitely gonna give us the the Krychik Savage Crab. And then it's gonna just put in random three other monsters. And because of the level, I'm guessing, of this guy, yeah, he's level 15, so our item level is gonna be 15. Uh, it's gonna be pretty, pretty nasty. But basically, we're gonna hit craft, and these monsters are gonna spawn in into the arena. We have to kill them, and then upon killing them, we will be given the reward. So let's give it a try. The first ones are watching of course, they're low level monsters, so that was easy. <clears throat> and we go to the blood altar, and there's our unique Loctonial Caress gloves. They're absolutely hot garbage for me to use, but this is just a demonstration, so I can go to my stash. Although there's no point. Can I sell the Einar? I can. I've never ever I've never actually tried. So that's good. What does he sell? Oh, he sells these things. Okay. See the you. bestiary orb are a way that you can take one of the monsters that you've captured and place them in a consumable item so you can trade it with other players. Because there are strategies of investing into bestiary going out and farming particular types of monsters and then you can sell them on the market like the one that gives you the the maximum number of links or sockets on an item you can go and specifically target farm that monster and sell it make a lot of currency get rich all that stuff <clears throat> continuing our quest for absolute atlas domination we're going to go to the dark forest and transmute it goatman and elemental oh ailment ailment whoo goatman and chance to avoid elemental ailments which i don't do that so i'm not concerned let's go check out that now it would be cool and i don't i haven't used this this graphic in a while but i wonder it would be cool if the guillotine actually like slid down when you go through it it doesn't or if it did, you don't get to see it because you've gone through. But the guillotine is down. No, it's up. How cool does that look, though? I mean, come on, guys. That looks freaking cool. In fact, that's going to be our screenshot for this episode because that is rad. That's just such a cool... That's one I actually specifically spent money on. I said, no way, dude. This looks so cool. I only I only wish I remembered that I had it sooner. Cuz it would have been great to start for the episodes in the beginning of October for spooky season, but you know what? It's fine. All right, these goatmen are really Messing me, and they're not messing me up. There's, there's so many of them. See, with the Vol Ground Slam, I could probably like snake, snake. I could probably like tease, tease them all into one area, and then hit them with the, with the Vol Ground Slam. And I don't have to be facing them; it just radiates outward. Like that. But you can only do that up to four times before needing to reset the charges, so I need to go go forth and kill monsters the regular way. 
What does that say? Blacksmiths? I'll check it out. So that was a situation where I opened it up and then just immediately hit my Vol Ground Slam button and it just it blew everybody up. Six out of that. Not terrible. See this, unlike the, the map that we ran last episode, I forget which one it was, but this is more of a preferred style of map. Just kind of like an open field. Not a lot of like Distinct navigation. Well, I thought I picked that up. What is this? Titanic Scarab. Okay, it makes certain monsters more difficult. And of course, in general speak generally speaking, more difficult monsters means better loot. Or at least more of it. Alright, go in here. My incubators are almost done. What on earth? Did he just run away? Do I need to go find this guy? There he is. Okay, that was kind of obnoxious, but it's fine. We got it, we got it, easy. in here. I'll probably do it just for the lulls. Six monsters remaining. Yeah, we did all right. This is a pretty fast map. Got a map out of that one. Some more incubators. Okay, I'm I'm really glad we did this one. Uh, this one. That's awesome. Melee physical damage. We'll get that. And let's get out of here. Let's check out what the heck we got. That seemed really kind of worth it. Got some shards there. Got a map. A scarab. A ring that we can put there. Some more one-handed items. Some gloves. I'll put the gloves right there there some boots gloves this is what I don't like about the quad tab you can't really see the exact placement that you're doing this is a chromatic orb this is currency well, let me just incubate everything 
Because look, it's free currency. Why not? Why not do it? Okay. Okay, back to maps. That was a really fast map. I'm liking it. And we'll run the lair now. We will transmute it. Monsters cannot be stunned. Players have 25 reduced effective non curse auras. I'm going to change that one because that one's really annoying. For me, anyway. This is fine. Because of the dang precision aura, I need it fully, <laughs> fully up so I can do the amount of damage that I need to do. Alright, here we go. This is the lair. Okay, so sometimes these maps have a side, have a little extra area. So just because there's a door here does not mean this is the this is the arena. This is just a uh, like a, a travel travel zone. It's a cave. Transmutation. Sometimes it can it can be it can be funny that you, like you can be low on some of the the low level currency and it's like oh but sometimes why even bother picking it up and then you, whoa and then you get into a situation where you need it and you're like shoot I should have I should have picked it up. I think there are menagerie recipes for stuff like alteration orbs and stuff. But I think most people, if they needed them, they would just buy them in mass on the market. There's got to be an end to this cave here soon. I mean, maybe it's just the cave and then we'll meet the boss here. Holy moly. I'll pick it up just because it's all here. May as well. his deal. Evasive and Trail of Cold. Trail of nothing. Oh yeah, Ground Slam. Let's get that leveled up. Although, that might be my extra offhand ground slam that just leveled up. There's no way of telling. I definitely feel like I'm using my mana potion less and less. Is it because of this? Because I, I must be because I'm leeching mana and I'm getting total recovery. That's from Life Leech. Is the next one mana? 40% total life recovery per second from Leech. 1% attack damage 
leeched his life. 60% total recovery, 0.4%. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I must be leeching a lot of mana. Or enough to that I'm not really using my mana flask very much. Let me try to keep in mind when I when I hit it. And just see. I feel like I haven't hit it. Check that axe for sure. That axe, though. <laughs> Chef, you're so funny. So, look, what we can do is... Oh, we can't do that, actually. Can we do this? Yep. All right, so that's garbage. Let's check this. Uh, critical strike chance is garbage. This is just not a good upgrade. This is not an upgrade at all. Item level 71, item level 59. I'm definitely at the point where I should be seeing some upgraded materials. Just they're not popping up, man. They are not popping up. Map, map, map. We got some heist stuff, Lancing Steel, Golden Mask, okay, I really don't think I need to pick up any more helmets, <laughs> Need I, I almost said furniture, oh my gosh, I almost said I need more furniture, I mean, I need more furniture, but it's not what I'm here for. <laughs> so, let's see, is this more map chance? It is, okay, so we're gonna go this way. Um, yeah, I don't think I regret that. And then, Honestly, I need to probably work my way around here and grab the higher map tier chance. Yeah. Although I don't really need them to be one tier higher, I guess unless I started running tier ones again so I could try to fill out these. Uh, we have dry C. And it's been like 23 minutes. Don't really want to end it. Let's just do this. Uh, let's see what we have here first. These could, oh, these are this is this is tier three. I'm not really interested in tier three right now. We've got lava lake. Let's try running lava lake real quick. This will be a little bit of a longer episode. You're welcome. You're welcome. Don't say I never did anything for you. Boop. I think this is a very un unfriendly. Uh, we might fight Tukohama. There are some maps that is just absolutely awful to run. Because of the boss. Okay, guys, let's chill out, okay, shall we? This is have increased, they have more life. I guess they're maiming me. All right, we do have Alva. Normally, I, I, I maybe not wouldn't do this, but. Okay, remember this is incursion, so. We can upgrade the room or change it. So we're gonna upgrade the room. This is the jewelry forge here. Uh, so. Either one of these doors, I probably would prefer to do the Corruption Chamber. So we're going to upgrade and then aim for the Corruption Chamber doorway if we get a key. Alright, here we go. Oh 
Okay, these guys are really... They mean business. Get out of there. Let me... Let me get this. Goodness gracious. Okay, it's really not worth just like sitting there trying to kill one guy. That's nice. Not entirely necessary, but as nice. Okay, there we go. Good job, Exile. Nothing great, but it's fine. All right, we'll do her again. There you are. Catalyst of corruption. This is one that we definitely want to have. Uh, we've got three incursions remaining, so. I'm going to talk a little bit strategy the for the Temple of Atsuwadal. So there are rooms that the final loot is exceptional, and there's a lot of rooms that are not exceptional. The Corruption Chamber is one of those rooms that is excellent, but you've got to get it up to Tier 3. There are ways to skip a level, so there, there's, there's stuff on the Passive Tree where I can get this from a 1 to a 3, but I don't have that allocated, so this is going to go from a 1 to a 2. After I run this room, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna ignore the third incursion in the map. So then, when Alva shows up again, there'll be a chance that the corruption chamber will show up again, and I can get it up to tier three. Once you see a room in the in the incursion in a map, it will not repeat itself. So if I upgraded this and then ran the third incursion, there is a zero percent chance that it would be this room again. Okay, I hope that made sense. So we're going to upgrade this room for sure, and then it doesn't really matter if I get a doorway or not. The, the, the only priority is upgrading the room. The doors here do open by themselves, remember. Alright, we got the upgrade. Anything else we do now is just icing on the cake. I want some cake. Nope, nothing there. Mm. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. I got it just in the nick of time. Got an amulet out of that. We need that. Okay, so there's gonna be a there's gonna be another instance of Alva waiting for us on the map somewhere. I think I've already seen the icon for it. Oh, another map. Good. But gonna ignore it. Fully ignore it. Oh, when you're maimed, you have reduced movement speed. That explains a lot. Turn around, Chef. Jeepers, creepers. All right, let's see where these guys are coming from. Oh, this isn't going well. Please stop it. Attack me instead. Yikes. Didn't quite get... <laughs> that, that just didn't go according to plan. I still have not hit my, my mana flask. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking that the uh, the tree upgrade that we did is doing some work for us. Oh, 
Wish I would have done that sooner, honestly. And there's a blight here. That one I'm definitely not gonna do. There are there are good good map layouts for blight, and there are bad layouts for blight. This would be what I would consider a bad layout. The ironic thing is the maps that I generally don't like, the ones that have a bad layout for just general use, are the ones that are great for blight. Like the dungeons. Anything that kind of looks like a jail cell or a ma mansion or something. Those are the ones you don't really want to run normally, but they're great for blight because of narrow hallways, limited entry points, stuff like that. Um, still 50 monsters remaining. I, I just want to go ahead and kill the boss here. Oh, it's Katava. It's not actually Katava, you know, but... It's the same fight. Alright. So yeah, this is this is another map that you, you really don't want to run. Just because of all this crap. Just for the boss. Like, bro, I already, I already fought you so many times. But it's all the same stuff, you know? Go to... I don't know that I missed that. Holy moly, dude. I'm having some issues here. Please let that be it. It's not. Such garbage, dude. any of this other stuff. Yes, thank you for being obnoxious. I'm so glad you died. Oh my gosh. What absolute misery. We're about to level up too. loot to bring back home. A lot of it just for jeweler's orbs and stuff, but it's still good. Oh, you know what? There was a there was a light flash when I was fighting Kitava. That was one of my incubators going off. And just then in there, there was another incubator that went off. I can't actually pick up this belt right now. I'll just have to move this. Heavy belts. Okay, we're going to ignore Alva. And there are 13 monsters left, but I'm not going to fret them. We're gonna head back here, head to the stash, and let's let's see what we got. Got some maps, some bubblegum, currency. 
Okay, scouting reports. Haven't gotten any of these, so I haven't had to talk about them, but uh, every once in a while, Kirak will offer you missions in the map device. We haven't done any because I haven't been offered any. And this will re-roll them so that one of them contains a unique map, which is cool. Good to have. Um, but I'm going to hold that there. Hypnotic jewels... Hypnotic eye jewels are specifically for. There's something called an. I think it's called a Stygian vise, and it's a belt within a with a socket in it that is specifically for abyss jewels. This is from the abyss uh, game type, and this is really bad for us. So I'm not even gonna entertain it. Let's look at these two things. Eight attribute. Uh, eight to all attributes plus evasion rating. That's kind of bleh. I don't dual wield. This fragment we'll talk about at another time. Oh, I didn't even see this jewel up here. Increased fire damage is garbage. This amulet will be sent to you there. And this belt there. I don't even want to look at that. Boots. I'll keep the extra boots. This is this is seven jewelers orbs. This is seven jewelers orbs. This is seven jewelers orbs. I'll keep the gloves. And this is a bunch of jewelers orbs as well. There we go. Okay, we're gonna add oh passive atlas passive. Uh, let's go Kirak Mission Chance. And then here for my actual skill, we'll do this 1% of attack damage leached as life. That should be really good for our hit recovery. Okay. Okay. That's, that's that. So, um... That's also the end of the episode. So thank you again so very much for watching. This was a good one. I had fun. I had fun today. This was a good one. But um, that's it. So thank you very much. As always, all the links that you need are down in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.